Okay, first off, I want to say I do love animals, and I don't dislike every pet owner on the planet, alright? These are just the pet owners I find to be fucking obnoxious as shit. So if this video offends you or your pet or anybody you know that owns a pet, man, get the fuck on. I don't give a shit about you or how you feel. Okay, I absolutely hate this shit. People who talk to their dogs with that baby talk, mushy goo goo shit. It is so annoying and it's just overall awkward to sit there while they do some shit like that. Hey, you seen my dog Oscar? Look, he's such a cute little boy. He's your I feel bad for the animal who has to sit there and deal with this insufferable crap. It's no wonder your dog, cat, or whatever hasn't just bit you in the fucking face or scratched you to death if you talk to them that way. But he's such a cute little doggy, 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 doggy. The thing that really pisses me off though, these people, given enough time, will eventually just start to talk to everyone like that. Hey guy, what's up? You're just a cute little guy. You wanna hang out today? You wanna, man, what the fuck? I do not believe that there is one pet out there that loves this shit. Like, I'm pretty sure every animal secretly hates this shit and talks about it in animal whenever we're not around. Damn! Then there's the people who like to talk from the animal's point of view. I've never understood why people talk in broken English when they're talking from the point of view of their damn pet. Okay, like, say their pet or whatever wants a treat, and they'll be like, I want a treat. I want a treat. Can you give me a treat? Like, what? Are you assuming that you lack the capacity to raise an animal that could think within the proper guidelines of grammar? Or do you just simply assume that every animal on the planet is dumb as you must be? Then you have the people who treat their pets like kings and little fucking queens and shit. They keep a bunch of little treats for the little bastards, and they keep a bunch of toys for them as well. These people typically do not have a house-trained dog. They'll swear up and down that the dog is fucking house-trained, but time and time again, you will see that it is not. I seriously cannot stand pet owners like this. If you're too lazy to properly clean up behind your dog, cat, or whatever, then you do not deserve to own one. Stains here, stains there from the damn dog doing whatever it wants all around the house. That shit's really fucking gross. If you're too lazy to get your ass up and clean up behind your own damn animal, then you're a pathetic human being, and that will probably never change, and I hate you personally. Okay, before I say this, I just want to say to each his own, alright? But I do not approve of dogs licking people on the mouths. That shit disgusts me. Have you seen what dogs do with their mouth licking their nuts and groins and anus and all this shit? Sometimes they'll just lick the floor or whatever random shit they see on the ground. And to some people, this is apparently a green light to have this little motherfucker licking all over their damn mouth. That shit literally makes me want to fucking vomit. Then people will say, well, a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's. Motherfucker, you must know some nasty fucking humans to say some shit like that. Here's an experience I had. I went out on a date with this chick. The date was pretty fun. We actually got along really good. So she asked me to come back to her place with her, and I'm like, yeah, sure, why not, you know? So we're sitting there on a little sofa, and we're talking and shit. And her dog comes from the back room or whatever, and he just sits up there on the couch by her, and you know, she starts to pet the dog and shit. Then the dog just starts licking her all in the mouth, and she's just okay with it, talking to the dog. Oh, you are your little cute dog and shit, you know, while the dog's licking her on the mouth, practically licking her fucking tongue. And I'm just sitting there fucking disgusted. Like, I have no idea what to say, but I'm going through every excuse in my mind on how to never talk to this bitch again. Then she had the nerve to lean over and try to kiss me moments after making out with her fucking dog. I fell off the couch backing away from this bitch. So I made up some phony excuse after that and got the fuck out of there. Alright, so don't judge me on this because I don't care what anybody else would have done. Alright, like I said, I find that shit disgusting. Okay, some people just have too many damn pets Period. 
they'll have like eight dogs, five cats, two birds, three pigs, 12 horses, a giraffe, and the whole house smells like a fucking petting zoo. Animals literally running around everywhere. Why have so many pets, okay? I understand if you have a few in cages and whatnot, that's actually understandable. But to just have practically a farm of livestock, that's going too fucking far. How many animals do you really need? I honestly believe once a person wants more than three pets, they probably need psychiatric help. You're apparently trying to compensate for whatever reason and you need help, man. Okay, so if you or anybody you know is on this list, then get together, think about what y'all can do to stop being annoying to me as pet owners, alright? So if you like this video and you want to see more of the shit I post in the future, just click the link at the top to subscribe. Buddy, you're such a cute one.